Hello everybody and welcome back to Erratus Lord of the Dead. Robert Rambles here and thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, we lost a couple of people so that's kind of a big setback. I was thinking of giving some brains to our Dark Knight here in the hopes that he could combine with her level and her level maybe keep us alive. It feels like it's time to do that. So let's take a look at a couple of things here before we set out into battle. Um, we could turn our Heartless Slash and with Edge of the Abyss deals additional damage equal to the sum of the 50% of the sum of the Dark Knight's armor and resistance. So half of the sum, so it would add eight. So we're talking what, a total of maybe 18 to 19 damage. Or it deals less base damage, and if we had stacked armor, let's go with this I variation. Expect results. Which keeps a lot of the core damage intact and doesn't rely as much on us stacking armor on him, but we'll see how that works out. Deals additional 3 damage for each buff or debuff, or deals 140% damage. Let's, I think that giving him the ability to just deal a lot of stress damage and a lot of physical damage is a pretty decent idea. All is dust deals additional 3 to 4 damage for each buff or debuff on the target. Critical hit will deal 200%. I don't like things that have to focus on like the chance to get a critical and that's the mechanic because it's, it's just RNG. I feel like we can go for something better. Deals additional damage equal to 50% of the armor and resistance again. So that might not be bad to grab. Let's grab Get this one. Back to battle. Oh, this is this is good. Here's a stance. Each time I mean we should be using this. Each time an enemy receives a buff, the Dark Knight deals 60% 90 times stress damage to it. So we could increase that amount. Hmm, very interesting. Um, for now, I think we're gonna go with this. Now, prove yourself worthy of my investment. Okay, now we're ready to go. Choose our battle group, and we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping that it goes better than the last battle. But uh, we've got a couple. Of, we've we've we know this guy. So he's immune to stress attacks at ignition. He's not going to run. Fifty percent chance to redirect an attack or debuff to the golem from any ally behind it. And what's going on with this guy? Oh well, I guess what's going on with him is we're attacking him. Um. Okay, and he's got resistance against magical and against stress attacks. So. Let's use some of that. This wretch. Use some of that mana that we um, have, and we really again want to get this guy down first. Probably then followed by this guy. This sixteen damage, twenty six. Yeah, these two: the stone golem, the headsman, and then the guard. Okay. Let's go. All right, well, his armor will ho hopefully be gone now. Let's bring down everybody's attack. He's warded against it, but... Oh boy, he marked her. That's not any good for us. No good. No good. Okay, thank God he missed. I'm just waiting for her to get clobbered. Yeah, like that. Having her out in front is not where we'd want her. That was not good. I don't know what we could do here. We should just keep... Let's turn this on. Let's 
get her her extra damage from the onset. Someone was in a stance. Ah, oh, he redirected it. Jeez. At least he missed the uh, actual attack. He got into the trap and took damage from her trap of those. Alright. At least that gets rid of his ward. I like just keeping their attack low. Especially because they're gonna we know they're gonna clobber us. There we go. Got him back up front at least. And his armor took that hit, that's perfect. Yikes. Yikes, guys. I am so happy that missed. If we're gonna live, I have to keep his attack as low as possible. That's how I feel. Huh, I'm so glad he misses so often, otherwise we would be totally screwed. Great, he's marked her. Ah, oh, all the misses. We're getting so lucky. If we live, it'll be because of all these misses. That'd be a great stress attack, but we have this guy to take care of. Oh, God. Ah, oh, maybe he the smite. I just can't smite with him, I guess? Can't you smite at all? Everyone's trapped. Oh, no, no. We just invested brains in this guy. Just invested brains in this guy. I just... Yeah. Oh, it's not going good, guys. We might lose this one flat out. What happens when we die? Is this game over? Can't do any physical with anybody. That guy just went insane. He buffed himself. That's not what we want to see. See, I can't hit him from here with anything, I don't think. Uh, unnecessary sacrifice. This is what a thousand years. I mean, I can't. I could never like win with her, no matter what, because pathetic. I could never. I could never take him out. Unless one of these guys did it for me, which they won't. Yeah, we're gonna find out what the game over looks like soon. 
I conquer death itself. Defeat. You too will fall eventually. First sacrifice. So we're just back, you know, we're back here. And then it's like, so how do we take that on? Obviously, we start by building some more guys, right? Clearly. That's where we start. To him, the world is as hollow as his arm. And then we just need a different strategy. Like, for that fight, having anybody who's focusing too much on stress damage, like, Come dear. like the Banshee it's might not be very useful in that fight. You know, would a zombie be useful? Maybe, if we used them the right way. Can't make a skeleton. Can't make a zombie. So we have what we have now. And I think it's pretty suboptimal, honestly. Not sure if anything in here could help us. Can move a minion. Can deal stress damage directly to the target. My magic will shake the very foundation. Might help us with some of them. World. All right. Well, obviously this guy is not healed at all. All right, well, we could try it again and see. Now that we've seen it once, you could say that we might have a better chance of... Oh. Really? Oh, well, that's not awful. So they leave the battle as it was. Okay, well, that's manageable. The thought of going in there with all level 1 guys and having to wear them down again, you know, I didn't see how that was going to work, but... Clearly... They've accounted for this. Yikes. Didn't take any damage from that at all. Yeah, all of his stuff too is going to be damage to the sanity. Well, okay, the magical attack, but he's going to be immune to magic, the golem, I think. Pretty sure the golem is immune to magic. Not going to find out. One more for the stock. Just gonna put him down the old fashioned way. And hopefully we can get a carve out of victory here out of a defeat. Delivered. This guy's actually not that bad. Yes, with him we can continue working on his sanity. He has less sanity than health, and we should all be able to do some sanity damage. Even she can do some stress damage. Let's do warning shot. And then we'll give him the hollow stare. It's gonna bring him down to zero. And now... Hit him with a little terror wave. That didn't do it. Let's hit him with a uh, scream. Uh, he's pretty resistant. Pretty resistant. Blocked in an armor absorb. There we go. Easier than working a down his remaining health. Display for mortal kind. Yeah, it was a sad display for us too, though. That first battle went very poorly. Luckily, we got a level for the Wraith out of that. That's pretty good. So target can't move during their next turn. Um, does that mean they can't take an action or just move? And then a stress attack. Target loses evasion and it removes all buffs. 
So basically we could empower it. This one deals 8 to 9 damage to the chosen target and the enemy behind it. Curse the target for 2 turns, dealing 8 to 9 damage per turn. That's actually really good. Let's take it this way. Serve me well, my minion. Okay. I think that's good. And do we have some materials now that we could uh, at least make a skeleton? No. <laughs> we need bones. Zombie? Nope. Alright, so this is just what we're going to have. This is the party we got. This is the parts we have for a minute. Uh, of course, we could go ahead and go up here. We could restore everybody's health, thankfully. We have a sacrificial altar, but we don't have anybody to sacrifice right now. Let's go up here and uh, get everybody's health back. Oh, wait. Oh, this isn't that. This is experience for our minions or for us. Let's take the, the minion experience since we're all pretty low level. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. I mean, they'll probably still all get killed. But uh, it's better than nothing. I expect Take that. results. Let's go ahead and increase now, the damage prove yourself from this one, the magic attack. Investment. For her. This is going to increase the flat damage from um, 11 to 14 to 13 to 16. And this one's going to increase the damage over time. Oh no, it doesn't. What does it do? Three turns as opposed to two turns. So this it just burns for another turn, or we can do the flat damage. Get back to Let's go battle. there with it. And then our Banshee. With our Banshee. If we could hit them with that, they're gonna lose six attack. I like that. So that debuff that we cast. Reducing their attack by six. My enemies are in for a that that might keep surprise. us alive. Let's do that. And then with that done, frighteningly, let's jump into another battle and see if we can keep ourselves alive. This is uh, really good. We could have used like a heal, you know. That's what I'm worried about. Is like. This just seems like we're going to get annihilated, like, immediately. Let's use some mana here. Distinguish hope. Stress this guy out. We could, uh, start attacking these guys. It redirected it to him and he's immediately- so wow, she might be just basically useless. Unless we shift the order. Let's do this, because we can at least heal him up. Perfect, at least somebody's got health. Nice miss. We need about a hundred more misses. Okay, a block. I'll take a block. He's got one more of those up his sleeve. Okay. Let's just keep working on their sanity. I don't know. Seems like really the only real strategy we have. We can't put out a lot of physical damage. We can at least bring down the mage's attack. We can't bring down their attack at all. Unfortunately, but... All 
right, loving the miss. Oh, uh, not loving the 16 and the debuff, but. He's hitting his own guys with that, I realize. All right, we got rid of one of them and had a heart attack. He's gone. Great. Let's do the same with this guy, please. She's probably got to start putting some physical damage into this guy for us, though. Because she can do that. And we could, uh... Oh, we can't do the direct one. Yeah. Oh, he went anyway. Look at that. We got really lucky there. Not, not so lucky with the 24 damage. I'm lucky with the miss. Okay, so... I think we could do this. The problem is... We just need... Maybe if we increase evasion, like, this guy could be useful. I don't, I'd like her to not get hit. Um, he can do this again if he needs to heal, but... I need to heal. It would be cool if as... As the main character, we could have a heal that we could cast. In Darkest Dungeon, you had a healer. You could heal you in combat. We haven't had any items or anything that could heal us, so... Kill, my darling, kill! I think this is going to be okay, though. Especially if they keep doing that. Not really a lot we can do with her at the moment. I'm pretty sure that that's not gonna. Can we do anything with with this? I don't think so. Yeah, the. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do, but. Bone spear. Impale this wretch. Well, one of them took a little bit of damage. Oh no. Wanted that to finish him off. Yes, please keep swinging at him. Yeah, they're, they're probably immune to magic, right? Oh, they're not. Well, he's still got one hit point available. Oh, he redirected to himself, of course. There we go. Um, I don't know. There's really nothing you can do. Except probably get killed here. On the guy's next attack. We can, we can get him before he goes again. If not, we'll just hope that she doesn't get hit. But I think we got this. Feeling probably overly confident. But we did it, guys. We didn't lose our As B team. Your Kept everybody. Begins. We got a talent point for ourselves, which is great. I'm just excited that everybody's still alive. And we got some levels out of it. Let's take care of that. So these are either or. Once we pick one, we obviously can't branch out to the other. Let's take a look at a couple of other abilities here. So her basic stress attack... Can lower their evasion for three turns or remove all buffs. I'd rather have it remove all buffs. Now, prove yourself worthy of my investment. Stunning the target? Stunning the target is great. I think we're going to go with the stun that's going to be like a sure thing it's, as opposed to, yeah, it would be great to deal like 250% damage on a crit, but a crit's a random chance. And this, uh, Oh no, this is on a crit. A critical will stun. Oh, these are both crit. 
I don't like the spending points on things that rely on crits until we have to. Here we go. This is the one we want. Whenever an enemy moves, deal the 12 to 15 damage. Get yeah, we, we want that battle. for Overwatch stance. Okay, and we'll have to remember to actually use that. And then each time the enemy receives a debuff, the Dark Knight will deal 7 to 8 stress damage to it. Or each time the enemy receives a buff. Let's do this one. I expect results. Probably give this item to her. It's not a big increase, but it's something. I think we need to make some more um, troops, though, because we need people who need to get healed badly. Like, our Bride of Itaris and Banshee really need... really need to be healed, so I'm hoping... Huh, <sighs> jeez. At least we can make you a banshee. You learn to enjoy your wretched existence. And a skeleton. That'll get her out. And it'll get her out. We can do something like that. And we're going to have to put one of them, probably, probably her, in the full heal house. Let's go back out to the graveyard. The mortuary, he's fully healed up. That's good news. She needs to go in here. These two can switch. That might be as good as we could do. We could... We might be able to make another Wraith, maybe. But I kind of just need to save parts, I think. Thinking about these talents... Increase the chance of receiving parts. We might just need to grab that. Or, we can go down into the second tier here. 30 physical damage and an additional 50 if, it's on, if the target is on fire. That could be really good. Or deal 8 to 16 twice the same targets. I think for now let's grab let's grab um, more parts. Through transformation, the will becomes free. Let's just grab all of these, and then if that's all we grab, at least we have that base increase. We could go down here, and the skeletons will have twenty more twenty more health, which could be huge if we continue to use skeletons. All right. Well, had a little bit of a problem there, losing our main crew basically to that one battle, but I think we're in okay shape. We got a couple of guys that are low level and a couple of guys that are really hurt, but I think it's going to be okay. I think we just have to get more parts, make some more guys, spread the experience around a bit. And the thing is, you, you can't go back to a battle and grind up on it. You know, like level your guys, get free experience. You don't have the option to do that. And that was a trick you could do, well, it's not even a trick. It's just something you could do in Darkest Dungeon. You could replay the same dungeon if you guys needed a couple of levels, or if you brought in some newbies and they were under level and you wanted to skill them up. Um, here we need to figure out how to get more brains. Like the skilling people up and catching people up mechanic seems to be the brains. So if we could figure out how to get more brains, or if we start getting more brains, that would be ideal so that when we do have to hire newcomers, we can kind of get them leveled up to where we're at since we can't go back and level them in any of the older, easier battles. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Okay, well, we'll take a break here. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's see. Let's just go grab this chest, I guess. We can do that. Maybe there will be something amazing in it and incredibly useful to us. Well, we got a Ring of Purity. Unlocks a secret ire spell. Devour magic removes all the buffs from the chosen minion. Restores six mana for each buff removed. Insurance deal. After a victory, Eratus gains a 100% additional chance to receive an artifact for every minion that was destroyed. That, that, that implies that we were going to be losing people a lot, which is scary. Smoking bands. Each time Eratus uses a spell, a random enemy is dealt 10 stress damage. All for my future I'll take kingdom. that one. And actually, we would want to then equip that, um, which we could do right here. 
And apparently we've had some gear that we have not equipped. 10% chance to find a consumable after battle. It embellishes my undead features. Here's the smoking band. Um, what is this? At the beginning of combat, all enemies... One-time use. That could be really helpful. Let's save that for in case there's a really hard battle, maybe. Maybe we just throw it on their necks and see what it happens. It embellishes my undead features, no? And then standard of darkness, if no minions were killed in battle, all minions that took part in the battle restore 15%. That is awesome. Wish I'd have looked in here and had that on already. We have it on now. We are equipped. Good to go. Alright guys, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you're still having fun with this um, this one. I certainly am. Uh, it's Darkest Dungeon was really fun for me. This uh, is also incredibly fun. And it's layering more mechanics on top of other mechanics. Uh, I like the use of the main character and that we can spend his talent points, give him spells and things like that. So yeah, having a great time. Hope you guys are too. We'll see you again really soon. Take care and wish me luck.